Oke. Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa Pay homage to the blessed one. Dear friends, today May 30th, 2024 at Damasuka Meditation Center. So I would like to welcome all of you. Good evening everyone. So today I'm going to explain the Samanera and Samaneri, the orientation ceremony. So how you'll pronounce the Pali and how you become novice. You know, before that, uh, here I added a lot of Pali, but don't worry. So I'm going to teach you how to pronounce it. Okay, it's very easy, not so difficult. So let me explain. The, the, the first paper you can see here. The Buddhist custom of ordinations begins with the applicant's request to a bhikkhu. So bhikkhu means monk to permit him to receive a Samanara ordination. So Samanara means novice. The applicant having received the permission to request the Sangha, so Sangha means the community of monk, to allow his head to be saved. So you already done, everyone saved, right? So the applicant goes away and his head is saved. Uh, having been saved, uh, he goes to a senior bhikkhu that means senior monk, and pays respect to him as a teacher by bowing down three times. So you, you saw how Hambarto and then Matananda, the bow three times. You already know that, right? So then he makes the supplications to the teachers and hands over to a set of ropes to him, reciting a passage prescribed for the purpose. This done, he asks the teachers for the ropes which he puts on <coughs> with the help of a male supporter. So we have two male supporters here. One is the David, another one is the sister Christian. So after he has requested the teachers to ordain him a summoner a novice, he formally takes off the three refuges the the ten precepts so you are going to accept the ten precepts tomorrow after lunch the one o'clock he has now become a samanera as a samanera he has to request the teachers to be his preceptor so you have to request venerable sir you sh can you be your, my teacher my preceptor <laughs> so you have to request me when i give the ordination then the preceptor gives him a new name in Pali. So you'll get the new name. You know, everyone will get a new name tomorrow. So I already... See, I have the, the list, everyone. So is it Greg Coffey. He's the senior one. He's the oldest one here. So he'll, he'll get the first Pali name. Okay? And then second one, Greg Rogers, right? Rogers. So he's the 64, he'll be the second one. So according to the seniority, all of you have to sit. This is the according to the discipline rule, right? And the next one, Alexander, he's the 62, so he's be the third one. And then Patrick, he's the 59, he'll, and then he's the next one. Then David, is a 58, he'll be the next one. Then Fang Li, she'll be the, the next one. And then Hari, and she'll be the next one, he'll be the next one. And Gary, he'll be the next one. And Humberto will be the next one. Then Stuart, right? Stuart will be the next one. Then Philip is the next one. So according to the seniority, you have to sit, you know. 
So who is the senior one? I'm I'll go to him um you know and I'll use the rager. So tomorrow I'll bring the one rager, you know. I'll say Kesa, Loma, Naka, Danta, Taso. You'll see tomorrow. So whatever you decide tomorrow, then first of all let me read the whole paper, then you can repeat with me. Okay? So you can practice with me so that you can pronounce very clearly. So Pali, if you pronounce very clearly, so that way also you can gain a lot of merit, you know. So the some the people that cannot pronounce the Pali very, very clearly. So that's why I want all of you to pronounce every Pali language, the Pali word here, very clear pronunciation, right? So here you see the request for the novice ordinations. Here, first Pali and a second translation. Pali and translation. Pali and translation. So, so that you can understand what is, what is the meaning of that, right? So you can see here, O Kasa Ahang Bante Pabajang Ya Chami Duti Ampi Ahang Bante Pabajang Ya Chami Tati Ampi Ahang Bante Pabajang Ya Sami. That means, Venerable Sir, I am requesting you for ordaining me as a Samanara. For the second time, I am requesting you for ordaining me as a Samanara. For the third time, I am requesting you for ordaining me as a Samanara. Okay? And the next one, handing over the robe to the preceptor. So, before handing over the robe to the preceptor, you have to recite that, this one. Sabbadukka nisarana nibbana sachi karanathaya imang kasavang gahetua pabhajetha mang bhante anukampang Upadaya Dutiampi Sabadukha Nisarana Nibhana Sachi Karanathaya Imang Kasavang Gahetua Pabajeta Mang Bhante Anukampang Upadaya Tatiampi Sabadukha Nisarana Nibhana Sachi Karanataya Imang Kasavang Gahetua Pabba Jeta Mang Bante Anu Kampang Upadaya. So, translation Venerable Sir, I, I would like to request you to take this set of ropes in my hands and ordain me as summoner out of compassion in order that I may become free from the cycle of suffering existences. For the second time, Venerable Sir, I would like to request you to take this set of robes in my hands and ordain me as someone out of compassion in order that I may become free from the cycle of suffering existences. For the third time, Venerable Sir, I would like to request you to take this set of robes in my hands and ordain me as some right of compassion in order that I may become free from the cycle of suffering existences. So then, okay, this is the rope, right? The rope and then bowls, then you give to me. So I'll be in front of you, so you have to give to me, okay? After reciting this. So he has the applicant hands the ropes over to the teacher and then bows three times. So you have to bow three times like this. First bow, second bow, and then third bows. All right? And then next. So now this rope already, you already given to me. Then you have to request, Bante, please give me again. <laughs> so before that, you have to recite this. Asking the preceptor the ropes for the ropes. Sabadukha 
निसरण निभान सच्ची कर्णत्थाय दत्व पब्बेथ मंग भे अनुकंप उपाधाय दूतियंपी सब दुख निसरण निभान सच्ची कर्णत्थाय खसवंग दत्व पब्बेत मंग भे अनुकंप उपाधाय तातीयंपी सब दुख निसरण निभान सच्ची कर्णत्थाय खसवंग दत्व पब्बेत मंग भे अनुकंप उपाधाय सो ट्रांसलेशन Venerable sir I would like to request you to give me the set of robes in, in your hands and ordain me a summoner out of compassion in order that I may become free from the cycle of suffering existences for the second time venerable sir I would like to request you to give me the set of robes in your hands and ordain me a summoner out of compassion in order that uh, i may become free from the cycle of suffering existences for the third time venerable sir i would like to request you to give me the set of robes in your hands and ordain me a summoner out of compassion in that in order that i may become free from the cycle of suffering existences so that then i'll give you the robes to you so that this robe belong to you now okay The applicant bows three times, and then teachers gives him the robes. Then the applicant puts on the robes with the helps of an attendant. This takes place in a private room. So after after taking the robes from me, then you bow three times. First time, second bow, and third bows. After that, you can go. Uh, somewhere else for wearing a robe so i think the if you want to go your room or you can wear you can change here so and then for the uh, fangli you can take her in the place for wearing after wearing everybody come here okay so uh, when you come here again you can see the same place same seat where you sit okay don't change and then the reflection on repulsiveness <coughs> is called asubha kamatana so i'll have the rajar so who is the senior one i'll go to him first then i'll use the rajar kasa loma naka danta taso Taso, danta, naga, loma, kesa, kesa, loma, naka, danta, taso. So you have to repeat after me, right? So translation is here. So hairs of the head, hairs of the body, nails, teeth, and skin. Okay. And after that. Making a request for summoner ordination, novice ordination. O kasa, then everybody together, you can recite with me. Okay. After wearing the robe, so when I finish the kasa, loma, naka, data, danta, taso, one by one. When I finish that, then everybody can recite together with me. Okay. O kasa. अहंग बंथे तीसरा नेना सद्दिंग पब्बज्य समानेरा दशशीलं दम्मं याचामी अनुगहं कत्वा शीलं देथा मे बंथे दूतियंपी अहंग बंथे तीसरा नेना सद्दिंग पब्बज्य समानेरा दशशीलं धम्मं याचा अनुगहं कत्वा शिलां धीता मे बंथे तातीयंपी अहंग भंते तिसरा नेना 
సద్దింగ్ పబ్బజ్య సమానేర దశాశీలం దమ్మం యాచామి అనుగ్రహంకత్వ శిలాంగ్ దీత మే బంతి దట్ మీన్స్ వెనరబుల్ సార్ ఐ లైక్ టు రిక్వెస్ట్ యూ టు అటెండ్ మీ ఎస్ సమానేరా ఇన్ ఆర్డర్ దట్ ఐ మే బికమ్ ఫ్రీ ఫ్రమ్ ద సైకిల్ ఆఫ్ సఫరింగ్ ఎగ్జిస్టెన్సెస్ అండ్ ఐ టెన్ టు నిబాన For the second time, Venerable Sir, I would like to request you to ordain me as Samanara in order that I may become free from the cycle of suffering existences and attain to Nibbana. For the third time, Venerable Sir, I would like to request you to ordain me as Samanara in order that I, bec- I may become free from the cycle of suffering existences and attain to Nibbana. Then I will say, యా మహంగ్ వామి తంగ్ వే థా ఇస్ మీనింగ్ ఈస్ రిపీట్ ద వర్డ్స్ దట్ ఐ సే ఓకే దెన్ యూ సే అమాబంతే వెన్ ఐ సే యా మహంగ్ వామి తంగ్ వే థా దెన్ యూ సే అమాబంతే అమాబంతి మీన్స్ ఎస్ వెనరబుల్ సర్ దెన్ taking the refuges and then ten precept applicant pays homage to the buddha then i'll say namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa when i namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa when i'll say one time you will say three times okay so for instance i say namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa i say one time right and you have to say three times i pay homage to the exalted one the free from the all defilements and perfectly awakened by himself so just say three times translation that's all taking the three refuges then this one is very important this time you have to be very careful how i am pronouncing you have to see how bhante is pronouncing if you pronounce little bit wrong then you cannot become samanara yeah okay so you see buddham you have to say buddham saranam saranam gachami gachami dammam dammam saranam saranam am you have to pronounce am sangam saranam gachami sangam saranam gachami dutiyam pi buddham saranam gachami dutiyam pi dammam saranam gachami dutiyam pi sangam saranam gachami tatiyam pi buddham saranam gachami tatiyam pi dammam saranam gachami tatiyam pi sangam saranam gachami if you can do that you pass already <laughs> right <laughs> so i take refuge in the buddha i take refuge in the dhamma i take refuge in the sangha right for the second time i take refuge in the buddha for the second time i take refuge in the dhamma for the second time i take refuge in the sangha for the third time i take refuge in the buddha for the third time i take refuge in the dhamma for the third time i take refuge in the sangha then i will say tisarana gamanang sampunnang so when i say that then you will say amavante so tisarana gamanang sampunnang that means you three refuges is you already accepted okay then you will say amavante yes venerable sir and the next reciting the ten precepts for a samanara so here i put here pali and translation okay 
ఫానాతిపాత వేరముని శిఖాపదం సమాధియామి సో ఐ అండర్ టేక్ ద ట్రైనింగ్ ప్రిసెప్ట్ టు టు అవిస్ట్రీమ్ ఫ్రమ్ కీలింగ్ ఆర్ హామి లివింగ్ బీన్స్ ఆన్ పర్పస్ సెకండ్ అదిన్నదాన వేరముని శిఖాపదం సమాధియామి ఐ అండర్ టేక్ ద ట్రైనింగ్ ప్రిసెప్ట్ టు అవిస్ట్రీమ్ ఫ్రమ్ టేకింగ్ వాట్ ఈస్ నాట్ గివెన్ అబ్రహ్మ సరియ వేరముని శిఖాపదం సమాధియామి ఐ అండ్ అక్ట ద ట్రైనింగ్ ప్రిసెప్ టు అబిస్టెండ్ ఫ్రమ్ ఆల్ సెక్సువల్ యాక్టివిటీ మూసావాద వేరముని శిఖాపదం సమాధియామి ఐ అండ్ అక్ట ద ట్రైనింగ్ ప్రిసెప్ టు అబిస్టెండ్ ఫ్రమ్ టాలెన్ లైఫ్ హార్ట్స్ స్పీచ్ సిలిండర్స్ స్పీచ్ అండ్ గాల్సిప్ ఓకే సో ఈవెన్ ఇన్ ద మూసావాద వన్ but they had the four actually so that's why translation we put a translation here four together sura meraya majya pamadattana veramuni sikha padang samadhiyami and at the turning precept we stream from taking any kind of intoxicant vikala bojana veramuni sikha padang samadhiyami i and that the training precept to have stream from taking solid food after the noon day meal nasa gita vadita visu kadasana veramuni sikha padam samadhiyami i and that the training precept to have stream from dancing singing music and any kind of entertainment show mala ganda velupan dharana mandana vibhusanatthana veramuni sikha padam samadhiyami i and attend the training precept to abstain from the use of flowers garland perfumes unguents and things that tend to beautify and adorn a person ussa sayana maha sayana veramuni sikha padang samadhiyami and at the training precept to abstain from using high and luxurious beds and seats of course we don't have the luxurious beds here right at damasuka right jatha roopa rajata patigahana veramuni sikha padang samadhiyami and at the training precept to abstain from accepting the gold and silver nobody offer the gold and silver to you right so you cannot use the even money so whatever you need please tell david and sister so they are going to help you so don't use your cell phone and you know if you use the cell phone and maybe entertain or din singing dancing you your preset will be break up okay so here the end of the precept imani pabbajja సమానేర దశ శిఖా పదాని సమాధియామి దూతియంపి ఈమాని అభ్య సమానేర దశ శిఖా పదాని సమాధియామి తాతియంపి ఈమాని అభ్య సమానేర దశ శిఖా పదాని సమాధియామి that means i had to take the training precept of these 10 samanara so who are samanara please say samanara so the one is the the fong li so this is the samanari so seal say samanari okay samanari precept i had to take the training precept of this 10 samanara samanari precept i had to take the training precept of this 10 samanara samanara samanari precept then i will say the end of the precept tisara nena saha pabbajya samanera dasa sikka tisara nena saha pabbajya samanera dasa silang dammang sadukang surakitang kathwa appama dena sampadehi sampadeta one is sampadehi if only one 
is sampadeta. So all of you will say sampadeta, last one. Okay? You will know sampadehi. Sampadeta, that means many. Sampadeta. So if more than one. So do the observe the ten precepts together with the three affiches with the diligent and steadfast mindfulness. So then you will say amabante. Okay. So after reciting this one, imani pabbajja samane radasa sikka padani samadhi yami. After saying that, and then when I will say tisaranana saha pabbajja samane radasa silang dhammang sadhu kang sura kitang kathu appama dena sampadhi tha. Then you have to say amabante. Right? Yes, Venerable Sir. Then now is the time to accept in the preceptor. So you have to say Upajayo me bante hohi. That means you are requesting to bante bante. Could you become my preceptor? So you have to say in Pali Upajayo me bante hohi. Do tiampi Upajayo me bante hohi. Ta tiampi Upajayo me bante hohi. That means Venerable Sir, would you please be kind enough to be my preceptor for the second time? Venerable Sir, would you please be kind enough to be my preceptor for the third time? Venerable Sir, would you please be kind enough to be my preceptor? Then I will say, Pati Rupang, you have to say, Amabante. Okay? Pati Rupa means, please behave well. Pati rupang, then you say amabante. Pati rupang amabante. Done. Finish. Okay. Then I am going to give the new name, all of you. So, for the 10 days, you have to forget your family name. Okay. So, I will give the Pali name. Okay, go ahead. New name. Every time. No, no. The, okay, say again. What, what? I, I had ordained. I had a Pali name. The before? Yeah. No, you cannot use that. So, so the new one. Has yeah, because you are getting the new ordination. Okay. Right? So You'll get the beautiful name. Don't worry. I'll, I'll get tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I like the name. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll, I'll get the tomorrow. <laughs> so, so his, his name is the Metananda. So he, I ordained him in the last year. So we practice the loving kindness meditations. So that's why I gave him the loving Metananda, Samanera. So, okay, that's, um, after that, uh, you'll, you'll get a new name. Then, uh, Okay, then ordination is done. Okay, so every morning, I, as the David said, please wake up at five o'clock. So five thirty, five thirty, and then everyone before six o'clock, you have to arrive. You have to arrive here, and then before six o'clock, I'll be here, and I. I'll give the 10 precept every morning. So please don't break up any precept within 10 days. If you think that you already broke up one precept, let me know. Please come to me, Bhante, please give me the 10 precept again. I broke up one precept. So if you don't come to me, okay, you meditate. Maybe somebody can sit one hour, two hours, three hours. So when you break up even one precept, you cannot sit even 10 minutes, maybe 20 minutes, you cannot sit that. You feel guilty. I broke up one precept. So your meditation will go down. So that's why I want everyone to be purify your samanara life. 
within 10 days. So when you keep the precept, then you'll see, you, you understand yourself, your mind is very purified, you know. And then every morning, uh, every evening time, I'm going to give the talk, uh, one sutta from the Majjhima Nikaya. So you, I heard from the David, uh, most of you, the advanced meditator. So I have to know whether you understand or not all the jhanas, you know, what you are practicing, you must understand. Without understanding, if you practice, you're just wasting time. Don't do that. If you have any question, let me know. And if you have any questions, you can also ask David and sister, you know. So, you come here empty hand. You don't have anything here, right? Empty. But when you leave after 10 days, you have to get something from Damasuka Meditation Center. This is what I always say even at Damasuka and my center in New York. You know? So, this meditation is very, very effective. I practice um, about 14 years the Vipassana in Myanmar and Thailand. I was staying in Myanmar three years, ten months. I got a diploma in Buddhist studies and Bachelor of Arts BA in Buddhist studies from International Theravada Buddhist Mission University. And then I also went to Mahasi Meditation Center, Samyata Meditation Center for practicing meditations. And after that I went to Thailand and from Mahachulalankam Buddhist University, I completed my, the Master of Arts in Buddhist studies. And of course, we also practiced the meditation there. So after coming to United States, 2008, I also went to different monasteries, like the Chongya monasteries where the Bhante Bhikkhu Buddha is living right now. I went there twice for practicing meditation, 10 dress retreat, 8 dress retreat, I practiced the Anapanas, Sati, the breath in, breath out. And then later on, I, I was watching the Dhamma talk from from the YouTube almost every night. I was search, searching for a good teacher actually, meditation teachers. So one day I was watching Dhamma, the Bhantas We Dhamma talk and he speak very slow English. His English is very slow. I love the slow, who speak very slow, you know. <laughs> So some people in New York, they speak very fast. I don't know what they are talking about, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> but Bhante, we, he spoke very slow. Ah, I love it. And then he's just reading the book, line by line, line by line, first times, first time, second time, third time, I watch his video and then I keep away, I don't want to listen. Because he's just reading the book. And later on, I started watching again, then I saw, wow, he's giving the, when one line, two lines, three lines, when after, after reading, then he gave the wonderful comment. Then I woke up, you know? I was thinking, oh, wow, he's giving a very beautiful comment. Then I came here, I think 2016, right? 2016 I came here and I, I talk actually. I, first time I sent an email to Sister Kama, so that time she was in Malaysia and then uh, after a few days she sent email to me and I was thinking she's not here and I should send an email to David, send an email to David, David responds me, reply me very quickly. Then I decided to come here for three months running retreat. So I came here actually for three months but I stay here four months. You know, and I practice meditations.
four months here continuously, then I change my meditation. The, what I practice vipassana in the past, I keep one side and I started practicing the loving kindness, compassion, joy and equanimity. Of course, I asked a lot of questions to Bhante V because I studied a long time about Buddhism. And then I was sitting here, he was sitting here, and whenever he gave the Dhamma talk, I read the book, and then what I'm seeing what he's talking about. When I have the questions, I marked like that. And he knew, okay, you are going to ask the question I know. So Bhante V always look me like this. You know, I ask a lot of questions, and the first question is, Bante, I, I told him, Bante, you said that loving kindness, or if somebody practice loving kindness, you can attain Nibbana. Is it true? He said, yes. I didn't believe him. I didn't accept what he said. And he, he understood. I am not going to accept his teaching. So one day, the another senior teacher, Dr. Punaji, you can see that picture over there. Dr. Punaji came here and Bhante, we sat here, Dr. Punaji sat here. And I was there and I asked him to Dr. Punaji, I, I said to Dr. Punaji, Bhante, I have the questions. We are here, all the meditators, we are practicing loving kindness meditation. Is it the true, if we practice the loving kindness meditation, can we attain Nibbana or not? He said, yes. Can you give me reference? Then he said, do you know the Metta Sutta? Yes, I know. Section number 10. Dittincha anupagamba silava dasanena sampannu. Kami su vinaya gedang nahijatu gabba siya punaratiti. That means punaratiti, you will never come back. Nahijatu, that means you will not reborn. Na, na means no. Jatu means no reborn anymore. Gabba siya. Mother Om, you will not come back again. Punaratiti again. Then, you know, and I said, now Bhante, I got it. I understand. I recited this Metta Sutta thousand, thousand times, but with the understanding. But now I got it. I understand, understand now. And Bhante was started laughing. Big laugh. He said, now you believe me. <laughs> he said. <laughs> so that's why this meditation is very immediately effective. And I saw when I was here over the four months, I saw the many, many students who practice very diligently. They really follow the Bhantasi instruction and practice here. They got benefit. So when you practice inside meditations, it will take six weeks to attain jhana. When you practice the loving kindness meditation, it will take a few days. That's why this practice is faster progress than other practice. So you can try. So if you practice the vipassana or other technique, so you can keep one side. Don't practice here. Just practice the loving kindness. Just follow what I'm teaching. Okay? So that way you'll see how you are progressing. This is what I saw. Alright? So, as David said, um, sister will give you the, the list. Tomorrow, tomorrow is the first day, right? Tomorrow will be the first day and everybody will get the ordinations. 
Of course, tomorrow early morning, you will come here before 6 o'clock and you will accept the 8 precept. And after and at 1 o'clock, 1 p.m., all of you accept the 10 precept. Here, what do you recite here? And then every early morning, you'll accept the 10 precept. I'll, I'll be here before 6 every day. And then I want to see, um, not tomorrow, after tomorrow whole day you'll practice meditation here. Of course, I'm going to give the, some instructions, basic instructions. So who are the beginner? So you, and who are the advanced? At, at the beginning, I'm go going to give the basic instructions and who are advanced? So you also will understand uh, what I'm going to talk about. Of course, I'll say something about advanced level also, right? So, even though if you don't practice very well, your practice is not going very well, still you have to, you have to go to see me. I want to see every day, everyone. About 9 o'clock in the morning, the 7 people, and afternoon 1 o'clock, 6 people. All right? So, I want to see how you are practicing, you are practicing the right way or wrong way, so we can discuss each other, okay? We are all the friends, nobody perfect, right? We come here to learn, to practice, you know? So now, um, we can practice together, right? So now, you can repeat with me. So you can open the paper. You can repeat with me, the Pali. So, requesting for novice ordination. All right. Please repeat after me. O Kasa. Ahang Bante. Pabajang. Ya Chami. Dutiyampi Ahang Bante Pabajang Yachami Tatiyampi Ahang Bante Pabajang Yachami Okay, we can read the translation together, please. Venerable, together, Venerable Sir, I am requesting you for ordaining me as a Samanera. For the second time, I am requesting you for ordaining me as a Samanera. For the third time, I am requesting you for ordaining me as a Samanera. Okay. Now repeat after me again. Handing over the rope to the preceptor. Sabadukha. Nisarana, Nibbana, Sachi, Karanathaya, Imang, Kasawang, Gahetua, Pabba Jetha, Mang Bante, Anu Kampang, Upadaya, Dutiyampi, Sabadukha, Nisarana, Nibbana, Sachi, Karanathaya, Imang, Kasawang, Gahetua, Pabba Jetha, Mang Bante, Anukampang, Upadhaya, Tatiyampi, Sabadukha, 
นิสารณานิบาณาสัจชีกรณตตายอีมังกาสาวังกาเหตุวะปับบะเจธามังบันเทอนุกัมปังอุปาดายะโอเค translation together please venerable sir I would like to request you to take these set of robes in my hands and then ordain me as samanera out of compassion in order that I may have free from all the cycle of suffering existences For the second time, venerable sir, I would like to request you to take this set of robes in my hands and ordain me as samanera out of compassion, in order that I may become free from the cycle of suffering existences. For the third time, venerable sir, I would like to request you to take this set of robes in my hands and ordain me as samanera out of compassion, in that. From cycle of existences. Okay, the next one, Aksin, Aksin, the preceptor for the ropes. Sabadukka, Nisarana, Nibbana, Satchi, Karanathaya, Etang, Kasavang. ดัตตัวปับบะเจธามังบันเทอนุกัมปังอุปาดายะดูติยัมปีสับบดุกะนิสารณานิบาณาสัจชีกรณัตตายะเอตังกาสาวังดัตตัวปับบะเจธามังบันเทอนุกัมปังอุปาดายะตัตยัมปีสับบดุกะนิสารณานิบาณาสัจชีกรณัตตายะเอตังกาสาวังดัตตัวปับบะเจธามังบันเทอนุกัมปังอุปาดายะโอเค translation together please venerable sir I would like to request you to give me the set of robes in your hands and ordain me a summoner out of compassion in order that I may become free from the cycle of suffering existences For the second time, venerable sir, I write to request you to give me the set of robes in your hands and ordain me a s a m a n r a t o compassion in order that I may free from cycle of suffering existences. For the third time, venerable sir, I write to request you to give me the set of robes in your hands and ordain me a s a m a n r a t o compassion in that. From So then you see the applicants bow three times. Then you bow three times. Okay. So the when the b a n t e give you the robes, then you bow three times, and then you can take the robes. After that, you can change, right? You can change, and then you come back here, and you can see it according to the order. So you can see that. Then I'm I'm going uh, each person person, and I. Do the kesa, loma, naga, danta, taso. Okay, you have to repeat after me. Kesa, kesa loma, loma, naga, naga, 
दंता तसो तसो दंता नाका लोमा कैसा कैसा लोमा नाका दंता तसो then finish okay and you see it means the hairs of the head hairs of the body nails teeth and skin so then you have to uh, make in a request for the summoner ordination o kasa ahang bante tisara nena sadding Pabbajya Samanera Dasa Silang Dammang Yachami Anugahang Katua Silang Dita Me Bhante Dutiyampi Ahang Bante Tisara Nena Sadding Pabbajya Sama Nera Dasa Silang Dammang Yachami Anugahang Katua Silang Deta Me Bante Dutatiyampi Ahang Bante Tisara Nena Sadding Pabbajya Sama Nera Dasa Silang Dammang, Dammang. You see, M dot. When you see the M dot, this ang, Dammang, Dammang. Ya chami, Anugahang katua, Silang deta, Me bante. So translation together, please. Venerable Sir, I would like to request you to ordain me a Samanera in order that I may become free from the cycle of suffering existences and attain to Nibbana. For the second time, Venerable Sir, I would like to request you to ordain me a Samanera in order that I may become free from the cycle of suffering existence and attain to Nibbana. The for the third time, Venerable Sir, I would like to request you to ordain me a Samanara in order that I may become free from the cycle of suffering just and set into Nibbana. Then I will say, Yamahang Vadami Tangvadita. Then you will say, Amabante. Together, please. Yeah. Okay, I am going to say again, Yamahang Vadami Tangvadita. That means repeat the words that I say. Then you have to say together, Amabante. Okay, I am going to say again. Yamahang vadami tangvadita. Good. Now, applicant pay homage to the Buddha. So, taking the refuges and then the hand precept. So, you see, I pay homage to the exalted. Okay, Namata say three times. When I say one time, then you will say three times. All right. Namo tassa bhagavatu arahatu samma sambuddhassa. Can you say, can you pronounce it? Okay. Okay, wait, wait. Namo tassa bhagavatu arahatu samma sambuddhassa. Namo tassa bhagavatu arahatu. One more time. Samma Sambuddhasa. Okay. Now you have to be very careful to, to pronounce. Okay. 
बुद्धम लाउटली बुद्धम सरनम गच्छामि दम्मम सरनम गच्छामि संगम सरनम गच्छामि दुतियंपि बुद्धम सरनम गच्छामि दुतियंपि दम्मम सरनम गच्छामि दुतियंपि संगम सरनम गच्छामि तथियंपि बुद्धम सरनम गच्छामि तथियंपि दम्मम सरनम गच्छामि तथियंपि संगम सरनम गच्छामि Okay now the translation together please I take refuge in the Buddha I take refuge in the Dhamma I take refuge in the Sangha for the second time I take refuge in the Buddha for the second time I take refuge in the Dhamma for the second time I take refuge in the Sangha for the third time I take refuge in the Buddha for the third time I take refuge in the Dhamma For the third time, I take refuge in the Sangha. Now I am going to say Tisarana Gamanang Sampunang. Then all of you together say Ama Abante. Okay? Tisarana Gamanang Sampunang. Yes. Then you will repeat after me. Panati Pata. Veramoni. सिखा पदं समाधियामि translation together please I undertake the training precept to abstain from killing or harming living beings on purpose अदिन्यदाना वैरमोनि सिखा पदं Samadhyami. Samadhyami. I and the, together, please. I and the, take the training precept to abstain from taking what is not given. Abrahma Sariya. Veramoni. Sikha Padang. Samadhyami. Together, please. I undertake the training precept to abstain from all sexual activities. Musa Vada, Veramoni, Sikha Padang, Samadhyami. Together, please. I undertake the training precept to abstain from telling lies, harsh speech. Slender speech and gossip. Sura Meraya, Majya, Pamadatana, Veramoni, Sikha Padang, Samadhyami. Together, please. I undertake the training precept to abstain from taking any kind of intoxicants. We kala bujana, veramoni, sikha padang, samadhyami. Okay, together, please. I undertake the training precept to abstain from taking solid food after the noonday meal. Nasa Gita, 
वादित विशुकदर्शन वेरमुनी शिखापद Together, please. I undertake the training precept to abstain from dancing, singing, music, any kinds of entertainment show. Mala ganda, vilpana, darana mandana. विभूषणी शिखापदिया गार्लेंटिंग उसमुनीस जाताटिकोनी Okay now repeat after me Imani Pabbajya Samanera Dasasika padani Samadhiyami Dutiyampi Imani समानेरा ट्रांसलेशन I undertake the training precept of this samanara precept. Okay, now when I will say, "Tisaranana saha babajya samanara dasa sikka dasa silan dhammang sadhu kang sura kiran kattu apamadena sampadeta," then you will say "ama bante." Okay. Tisaranena saha babajya samanara dasa silan dhammang sadhu kang sura kiran kattu a. उपजापी उपजायो में बंते हो ही तातियंपी उपजायो में बंते हो ही सो द ट्रांसलेशन टुगेदर प्लीज वेनरेबल सर वुड यू प्लीज बी काइंड एनफ टू बी माय प्रिसेप्टर 
For the second time, Venerable Sir, would you please be kind enough to be my preceptor? For the third time, Venerable Sir, would you please be kind enough to be my preceptor? So when I'll say Pati Rupang, then you'll say Amabante. All right? Pati Rupang. Pati Rupang. Pati Rupang. Okay, that's all. Then I'm, I'll give the beautiful name Pali. Okay? Tomorrow you'll accept that. Right? And I, that's all. That's all done for, for today. Okay? So I think all of you did very great. So you, you, you can pronounce very well. Right? Okay, now I'm going to give the, some basic instruction because tomorrow you have to practice uh, meditation in the morning. Right? But I will take the ordination ceremony about one o'clock so um, could you tell me who are advanced meditator everybody should be yeah one two three okay so raise your hands come on everybody advanced meditator everybody me 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 yes you are <laughs> <laughs> don't have to be our okay <laughs> So here we usually say who attend the fourth jhana. So we call them advanced meditator. Okay. So anyway, and who who don't know about the let me say the basic. Okay, well, everybody, uh, you can sit uh, very comfortably when you meditate in a straight, a straight like that. You, you have body have to be straight, okay, no back and foot. Okay, some people they meditate this do like this. No, this is not the meditation. It's get a sleepy now, those people, okay? So when you sit you straight. Still your body. And remember a time when you were happy. I mean if you are a beginner. Remember a time when you were happy. For instance, when you talk with your friend, you smile with your friend. That happy feeling, the brain of the center of your chest. So when you feel the warm and glowing feeling the center of your chest, then you make wish, may I be happy, may I be calm, may I be peaceful. May I be full of joy, may I be content, and so on. Whatever you want to make wish, you can do. Ten minutes. And after ten minutes, you choose a spiritual friend who are male, choose male, only one person. Who are female, choose only one female. Who is your best friend, no any family member. Okay, no any family member. So I'll sell. I'll 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 say later why why Bante I cannot choose the family member. When you attend the fourth jana, then you come to me. Then I I'll say okay. Now you can choose family member. But when you are beginner, no. Okay. So who really help you a lot? Who is very kind enough to you? Choose as a spiritual friend. And when you talk with him or with her, she smiles with you. That happy feeling, the brain of the center of your chest. Again, when you feel warm and glowing feeling in the center of your chest, then you make wish. May my friend, my friend be happy. May my friend be calm. May my friend be peaceful. May my friend be full of joy. May my friend be content. And you see from the deceased how radiation is going to your friend. You will experience that. You feel that. So this meditation is a smiling and feeling meditation. You must feel and you must keep a smiling. So you can ask Bhante, did the Buddha say to a smile? No, Buddha didn't say to a smile. But Buddha said, develop the wholesome. He always said in the sutta, 
please develop the wholesome so how do you de develop when you uh, smile then you'll see your mind is pure your mind is clear and your mind is pure and agile so you feel that then how wholesome is developing you'll understand so may my friend be happy may my friend be calm may my friend be peaceful may my friend be full of joy may my friend be content it's just radiate loving kindness like that so before that you have to know two two things here one is the five hindrances another one is the six hours okay so five hindrances number one sensual desire number two aversion number three sleepiness and dullness and number four restlessness and anxiety and number five doubt okay sensual desire when you meditate you'll see the through the six senses we have the six senses eye ear nose tongue body and mind so through the six senses you'll see the desire arise when you meditate aversion arise when you meditate sleepiness arise dullness oh i don't know when bante is going to ring the bell because i want to leave the meditation hall tomorrow i'll practice more than one hour but not today because i'm tired dullness and restlessness my mind to go here and there because i come at damasuka meditation center for tendest retreat monastery retreat now i am remembering about my daughter about my mother about my father about my country you see your mind go there right running everywhere restlessness anxiety i want to keep my mind the object of loving kindness but i cannot control it there is no control so this meditation is like this not like that okay so when just let it go and then doubt what blessed one said in the sutta maybe this is not right what bhante is giving the matok this is not right right what we are practicing here maybe this is not right doubt rise in your mind what do you have to do use the six hours okay i say i call harmonious practice because we are always harmonious you are harmonious with you recognize it release it okay when you are meditating you might go away you recognize it and don't pay attention there continuously because this is unwholesome and relax you see in your head you'll get a tightness you'll get a tightness you know so you have to take the relaxed step take the relaxed step so relaxing not only in your head but also in whole body and mind so when you take the relaxed step then you'll understand you feel light the whole body and mind you feel very light okay then how wholesome is developing you see and relax you see there is one sign here so um i'm going to give uh, one dhamma talk the sutta number 10 from ajima nikaya is called satipatthana sutta so in that sutta the blessed one said pasambaya in pali so pasambaya means tranquilize so tranquilize means relax i practiced for 14 years nobody said that word in burma in thailand so after coming here when bante we said pasambaya pasambaya when i read his book pasambaya means tranquilize and his in his talk he said tranquilize means relax and i still didn't believe him because i went to check my dictionary 
<laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know, so I check the direction. Ah, relax. Tranquilize means relax. Then I accept it. You know, he said, I know you don't believe me. <laughs> and I don't know why I, I, I'm going to believe you because you have to give me the reference from the sutta, right? Okay, sutta number this, this paragraph. You go to your cabin and check it. And I went to my cabin and check it. Oh, I got it. The next day he asked me because we took the lunch together, you know, same table. And I said, okay, did you see that? Yeah. Then I thank you very much, Bhante. I, I got it. I accepted whatever you taught me. So, Pasambaya means tranquilize. So, tranquilize means relax. So, when I started taking the relaxed step, I really, really feel that. I really felt. So, that's why relaxed step is most important here. That's why David put here the sign to relax. So you must take the relaxed step. If you don't take the relaxed step, you are practicing very seriously. I still remember, you know, when I was here for months, I was practicing there, and I went to see Bhante V every morning at nine, nine o'clock, and he said, every day, please take relaxed step, relaxed step, relaxed step. I didn't. And he said, same day, same instructions, I can tell you, because you are not following my instruction. And after almost, I think, two, two months, <laughs> then I, I accepted what he said. <laughs> then I understood, this really work. That's why, please, don't waste time like me. Okay, you have to take the relaxed step. It's the most important. So relaxing not only in your head, in whole body and mind, and keep smiling. So recognize it, release it. Don't pay attention there because this is unwholesome. And relax tension and tight tightness. And then, rear smile. So that means you smile from the beginning, and you again rear smile. So, when you smile, when you are practicing seating meditation, walking meditation, and then when you go dining hall every while taking shower, keep smiling. That means you are developing wholesome. Okay? And then, state the wholesome thought. I mean, real smile and then return, then repeat. Okay, that means, return means you are the object of loving kindness, meditation, go away. What do you have to come back again? The object of loving kindness, return and repeat. That means it's still the wholesome thought. So that way you have to practice. This is for the, uh, the beginner, right? So, you know how to pray. remember a time when you were happy, when that happy feeling arrived, the center of your chest, then you start reading loving, uh, you make wish, uh, you feel warm and glowing feeling the center of your chest, then you make wish, may I be happy, may I be calm, may I be peaceful, may I be full of joy, may I be content, and so on. Whatever you want to make wish, you can do. Ten minutes only for the beginner. And after that, after ten minutes, you if you can sit one hour, two hours, three hours, ten minutes, radiate loving kindness to yourself, and the rest of time to a spiritual friend. Okay, you break up the meditation here. Then you want to go out, you want to practice walking meditation, it's to the a spiritual friend. Radiating loving kindness to a spiritual friend. When you are walking on the street, on the road, outside, taking shower. Stay with their spiritual friend. You got it? Right? And the who advanced meditator, please start practicing six direction. I always say David is my teacher, but he doesn't accept, you know. He said, I am not his teacher. When I was here, 
I went to Bhante. He said, okay, go to David. And I went to David. And I told him, why? Why I should, I should go to David? You are my teacher, and then you should tell me what I, what I have to practice. He said, I told you, go to David. And I went to David. Happy Bhante told me, you know, you should teach me the sixth direction. I don't know how to practice the sixth direction, Bhante told me. Then he explained me very nicely. That's why I respect him as a teacher. But he said, I am not your teacher. <laughs> you know, even though I learned something from him, but we have to acknowledge to them. Right? We have to acknowledge to them because I learned. He showed me, he told me, I still remember. Sixth direction, I understood when the Bhante gave the Dhamma talk. First quarter, second, first quarter means forward, second quarter means backward, and then third quarter is left side, fourth quarter means right side, above, below, and all direction. All direction, I don't know how to practice. And David said, okay, for instance, this is the candle, right? Yes. Okay, when you light the candle, candle is giving the light all direction. Yeah. So exactly the same from here. When you do the radiate loving kindness to all directions, then you'll see the radiations slowly, slowly radiate all directions. Then I got it. I don't know, thank you. I got it now. So then I started practicing that. So exactly the same who are the advanced meditator, please, you, when you come here, you will start practicing six direction. If you want to practice forward five minutes, from here five minutes, may all living beings be happy, peaceful, free from suffering, free from dangers, you know, whatever you want to make wish. You'll see from here, irradiations go from forward five minutes, backward five minutes, left side five minutes, right side five minutes, above, from here above five minutes, from here below five minutes, and then all direction. So please practice that way. Okay? Do you have any question? See, so okay, go ahead. About the uh, paper? Yes, sir. I heard that it's very good merit for your parents to become a monk. Is, is that true? Become a monk is very good? For your parents. For your parents? Yes. This is really good. Okay, when he asks the questions, then I, I should answer that. After the third Buddhist council, you know, his name is Kinasuka. He has one son and one daughter. And Kinasuka, he was very religious person. And he built 84,000 stupa. We have one stupa here. For Bhante, uh, Bhante Bhimala Ramsi and then Usilananda, then Sister Kama, right? We have one stupa. So, Kina Sukha built 84,000 st stupa. So, one stupa in Bangladesh, close to my, 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 my village, you know? And of course, that time also there were Arahan. So, Kina Asuka, he approached the Arahan and he listened to Matok. And later on, he became Buddhist. So, he was thinking that um, I will build the 84,000 stupa and then. I am the great donor. Nobody can do it. 
So then Arahant was thinking that, okay, so you should sit here and from here you can see all the stupa ceremony same time. The Arahant used the psychic power so that he, he can see from, from this temple. He can see because one has to pay in Bangladesh, one has to pay another place, one has to pay another place, one has to pay another place, you know. So he doesn't, uh, he, sh he, he should not, go, he, can, he no need to go that place. But he can sit here, from here he can see everything. Arahan used the psychic power. When he saw that, wow, I did great merit. Nobody did like me. So I am the only one who did the uh, great meritorious deeds. King Asuka thought that. Then Arahan, so I am the only, um, I don't know how to say in English. This is the heir of the Buddha Sasana, you know. So then Arahan said, monk said, you still, whatever you did, he still uh, couldn't uh, belong to the Buddha Sasana. Why? Why not? Because I did the great meritorious deeds. 84,000, I, I made the 84,000 and then I donate it. So I am the great donor. No. So when you offer your son, your daughter, for the Buddhism in the Buddha Sasana, when your son, your daughter become monk, then you will be the great donor for the Buddhism. Then Kinasuka was thinking, I don't know, if I go to, if I request my son, maybe my son will reject. If I request my daughter, maybe my daughter will reject. So that way maybe that cannot become monk, you know. Okay, Matananda is my son. I want Matananda to become monk. But Matananda said, no, 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 I don't want to become monk. So that way I cannot fulfill, you know, whatever I am expecting. So when the King Asuka approaching the, his son, the, his son said, I want to, uh, that I want to become monk. And Kina Asuka was very happy. He said, you know, I, I really, I was thinking that I, I want you to become monk. Okay, I'll do that. And then his daughter heard that. And his daughter said, okay, dad, I also want to become bhikkhuni. Oh, great. So, I want to donate both of you for the Buddhism, for the Buddha Sasana. So, his son became monk and his daughter became nun, bhikkhuni. Both of them practiced meditation and they became enlightenment. And they went and Kinasuka sent them in Sri Lanka for propagating Buddhism. So, because of King Asuka's sons and daughter, Sri Lanka Buddhism propagate. That's why Sri Lankan people now she still can can practice Buddhism because of the King Asuka's son and daughter, Sangamitya and Mahindra. So Mahindra is the son, Sangamitya daughter. So that's why. Who, when son become monk, their, their, their parents gain a lot of merit. So, for instance, here, your family member is not here, but you have permission, right? You said, yeah, I said my wife, but my wife said, okay, only for one week. <laughs> right? But... Uh, even only for one week, your wife gained a lot of merit because she gave you permission. If she said, no, you cannot become monk, <laughs> then you cannot come here. Right? That's why we need uh, every, uh, before ordaining you, uh, 
we are going to ask you, do you have permission from your wife, from your parents? Then you say, yes. Yes. Right? A few days ago, one guy came at my center. He said, I want to become a monk. And I told him, okay, do, do you have parents? Yes, my mom, don't stay, she doesn't stay with us because she, ha she has another partner. And then I stay with my, my, my dad. Okay, you, you need the permission from your dad. Why? I am adult now. No, sorry, I cannot accept you. Because if I ordain him, and if, if his dad come, hey, why did you ordain my son? I face the problem. Right? So I'm not going to accept him. And he went to his dad. Dad, I want to become monk. Please allow me. Then he, his dad said, okay, it's up to you because you are adult now. And he came to me. So, uh, and I was thinking that, oh no, because the way he, he's talking, I asked a lot of questions. And he's not qualified to become monk, you know. So that's why I didn't accept him. So you got it, right? Okay, next question. So tomorrow, um, you just come here, everyone, and six before six o'clock, and then you accept eight precept, and please you practice the uh, loving kindness meditations, and then who are advanced, please do the six direction, six directions, and every um, tomorrow. Again, I'm going to give the basic instructions more. And then after tomorrow, I'm going to deliver Dhamma talk, uh, Sutta number 52. Attaka Nagara Sutta. So that Sutta have the, all the jhanas. Okay, I'm going to explain. And I'm, of course, I will ask the questions. If you know better than me, I think you have to answer. So I want you to know all the jhanas very clearly. So when I take the interview from you, I, I'm not going to tell you that you attend the first jhana, second jhana, third jhana, and fourth jhana. You have to tell me. Understand? You have to tell me. I'll explain when I'll give the Dhamma talk. Oh, this is the characteristic of the first jhana. This is the characteristic of the second jhana. This is the characteristic of the fourth jhana. This is the construct of the uh, all the ex uh, jhanas I am going to explain very clearly. Then when you meditate, so then you understand, okay, this is the characteristic of the first jhana, I attend the first jhana. When I take the interview from you, you have to explain to me. All right? That's all for tonight. Do you have any question? Because I, I think all of you now already 9, 20, so it's already long talk, so I'm not going to give the long Dhamma talk anymore because you have to sleep, right? You have to sleep and wake up tomorrow about 5.30. Okay, so if you don't have questions, we are going to share. Uh, do you have any? Okay, second thing, if you have any problem wearing the rope, Please come to me and then come to the Mattananda. And then, sister, you can go to the uh, sister Kishan, okay? She is going to help you. So, if the f uh, rope is fall down, please come to me and oh, Mattananda, he is going to help you. I know that they, most of you are new. And who, I think for him, he already ordained one time, so for him no problem, and for him no problem. But for, 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 oh, for you, right? Okay. So, who didn't ordain this on the first time? Maybe rope fall down. Okay, but then I don't know how to rope it. You know, the last year, one, one guy came here for practicing, uh, for, get a, a, a ordination and I help him for wearing the rope and <laughs> when he came for the breakfast he he wore the <laughs> he wore the pen and the, the lay people dress he said hey what happened you got the ordination already 
And now you wear the lay people dress? I said, Panta, I don't know how to wear it. <laughs> I went to the I went to the restroom, bathroom, and my room fall down. <laughs> okay? So if you need any help, please let me know and let the uh, Mathananda anytime. Okay, we are here for helping you. Okay, maybe first day, second day, third day, it will be difficult. Later, it will be okay. It's not so difficult. I'll show you tomorrow how to wear it, the rope. Okay, okay let us share the merit together, please. And then we are going to end the uh, orientation today. Okay, let us share the merit together, please. May suffering once be suffering free, and the fear of strike fearless be. May the grief shed all grief, and may all beings find relief. May all beings share this merit that we have thus acquired for the acquisition of all kinds of happiness. May beings in everything, space and earth, there was a nagas of mighty power sharing this merit of ours. May they long protect the Buddha's dispensations. Sadhu, sadhu. Sad.